Dr. Ilana Gelman here, naturopathic doctor. So I just saw a patient right now and she came into the office and she is just like overly stressed, working like nonstop. And I see this so much with my patients and it's gotten to the point where I'm repeating the same thing over to them. And so I wanna share that with you guys. The biggest thing is that with constant stress and so much go, go, go in our lives, our stress hormones get off balance, and that's particularly cortisol. Now, cortisol is made in the adrenal glands, and our adrenal glands only has so much cortisol to get us by. Now, the problem with this is that people come into my office and they're fatigued, no, no energy at all. Their sleep is completely off, and then they're complaining of weight gain. Now, this makes complete sense to me why this is happening. They may be eating excellently, they may be exercising, but with the stress that they have, and it's imbalancing their cortisol rhythm, things are gonna be thrown off and our body's just trying to compensate. So I always show them these graphs about what our cortisol rhythm is naturally like. So I've got a couple of graphs for us. Now, okay, I did my best to try to make this, so hopefully you guys can see it. So this is a normal cortisol rhythm. In the morning, your energy is supposed to be high, right? We wake up, we wanna be refreshed. High in the morning, around 6.30, 7 a.m. is when it really spikes. Then as the day goes on, it gets lower and lower, and by the time we reach the evening time when we're ready to go to bed, naturally our cortisol is going to be low. So then we can go to sleep and have a restful night, and then it starts all over again. So this is normal rhythm. All right, what happens to a lot of people though naturally um, with going, going, going is that in the morning, it's very low. They wake up and you're not refreshed. And as the day goes on, it gets higher and higher. And then at night you find yourself awake and alive, not ready to go to bed. And now this is just the beginning of an imbalance in your cortisol rhythm, okay? When, you're up, when you wake up tired and you're up late at night, awake. Now, over time, what this can turn into, and everyone's very different, so we do testing to see what your cortisol rhythm is like. At times, you can wake up refreshed, but then there's like a low during the mid-afternoon, right? It's like that 2 o'clock, like you're craving sugar or you're craving something just to get you by coffee because you have such a low. But then at night, you find yourself awake again, and then you finally get yourself to sleep after a couple of hours, and then in the middle of the night, Oftentimes around three or four o'clock, you get another spike of cortisol. This is again, just a cortisol imbalance. Now over time, if you work, 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 your cortisol rhythm ends up just being flatlined. And this is what we kind of call adrenal fatigue. Now, this is obviously not healthy. Now you're not refreshed at all and you're just constantly tired. So our goal is, and so find the first one, is to get back to this normal rhythm where you're refreshed in the morning and then naturally your body wants to go to bed at night and then we start that cycle all over again. So cortisol plays a huge role in the body. Too much cortisol, we know deposits abdominal fat. We know can throw your thyroid um, functions off. It throws your immune function off. I mean, there's so much that cortisol does in the body. We really, really need to establish that regular rhythm. Natural medicine, homeopathy, there's so many things that really can help reestablish that cortisol rhythm. But that is such a culprit of chronic disease and so much in the body. So I, I explained this to so many patients. I wanted you guys to have this information as well. So maybe you can look into also getting testing um, done to know what your cortisol rhythm is like. And just to get that back and balance. All right, that wraps it up for this week. Um, maybe I'll continue on cortisol next week if, if, if this was um, popular enough. Okay, have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye.